Hello ladies and welcome back to It's Time for Tea. My name is Princess Nay and this is my femininity journey that I decided to share with you. Before I get started ladies, please follow me on Instagram at call me Princess Nay. You can follow me on my business page on Instagram at the Indigo Woman. And ladies, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel in addition to becoming a part of my Facebook group at Dating and Luxury for Black Women. Okay, ladies, so now let's get started. So today's topic, I would like to discuss the importance of being sexy as a feminine high-value woman. And ladies, before I get into today's topic, I wanted to address a few things. When you enter into your feminine journey, following every latest trend is something you definitely want to step away from and find um, an aesthetic that represents you as a feminine woman. A lot of people like to believe that dressing more modest, let alone being classy, that you're a bit boring and you're trying to dress like an old lady. Some also believe dressing sexy means being naked and promoting sex for male attention. Each statement is not true, but I do find that showing off too much of your body do not make you attractive, but actually attract the wrong attention that isn't wanted. Now, ladies, for starters, let's talk about capitalizing off your assets and using them to your advantage as a feminine woman. So a lot of us have full lips, long hair, long legs, a gorgeous complexion, height, hourglass shaped, etc. Overall, if you do have full lips like myself, experiencing with different lip colors is very important, mainly when you want to bring out your eyes, your complexion, or just overall whatever features that you have experiencing with lip glosses or beautiful matte lips such as like the color red gives you more of a mysterious appearance i've noticed women with floral lips give off a more feminine fatale aesthetic which is very alluring mainly if you're on a date now if you have long legs um or even any type of pretty legs like myself um wearing your favorite dress or skirt Or maybe possibly if you enjoy wearing pants, it's very helpful because it gives you more of a model aesthetic. Which is your favorite asset, ladies? And which one do you feel you capitalize off the most? Drop it in the comments below. I would love to see which is your favorite about yourself. Understanding what is your favorite gives a different level of confidence that I all want you all to have. Next, wearing clothing that fits your body type. I often see women who are considered bigger in size wear swimsuits or dresses that are more fitted to a smaller audience. I also find it tacky for some women who have a bigger bottom to wear swimsuits that is barely covering their lady parts, let alone their breast area. Wearing your correct size will prevent clothing malfunctions in addition to looking cheap as a woman who has class. Um... I will always say, ladies, you have to dress like you want to be addressed amongst others. Another reason I suggest wearing your own size would be to wear clothing that isn't extremely tight. It's really annoying to see women wearing skin-tight clothing or extra short shorts that scream use infection. As most of you know, I stopped wearing pants years ago, which is a lot healthier for your lady parts. Overall, learn to understand your body type to dress in a way that not only show off your feminine aesthetic but allows you to appear classy and more polished as a feminine woman furthermore to appear sexy as a feminine woman i would highly suggest you wear more heels than anything personally i feel heels can make any outfit more feminine and definitely give you that sexy aesthetic when you walk into a room mainly on a date out to brunch or to a formal event i know women in the vintage era took this very seriously and dressing in a way that promoted their femininity was something that was very common versus more clothing styles today that you mostly see of people who enjoy wearing night clothes in public or bonnets or dusty uggs and sneakers etc now i am well aware time has changed dramatically but part of the level of journey is to have a different approach about everything in life and it starts with simple things in your life such as the way you dress and how you present prevent yourself also i would suggest purchasing more feminine clothing that isn't overly revealing let alone cheap there is plenty of youtubers who give amazing advice on things to wear and which brands to shop with to ensure you look your very best for every occasion i know for myself i have my own clothing style that truly makes me happy to wear in order to make me feel like a feminine woman 
But I do also find it very important waking up earlier to make sure everything is on point, such as your hair, your makeup, your clothing is steamed, your handbag, the jewelry of the day, etc. Before I attend a major event or possibly a dinner, I make sure I have everything out the night before so everything is in place and I'm not scrambling in the morning. With doing this has saved me so much time to show me that in order to look your very best, you have to show up as your very best self. In addition to feeling sexy as a feminine woman, I would suggest wearing more lingerie. Now, I am not the biggest advocate for wearing lingerie in public, which I have seen women wear lingerie with sneakers or boots and stuff like that. But that's just not really for me. I think when you wear lingerie, it should either be in the bedroom, underneath your clothes, or if it's loungewear around your home, mainly if you live with your man or you're possibly married. We are women and we deserve to feel good, mainly if we are in our home relaxing in our femininity. I would definitely stay away from the oversized dingy t-shirt aesthetic and bonnet. That isn't really something that I find to be sexy for a feminine woman. I often find women having to go run and put on more clothing to excuse themselves by feeling embarrassed once they answer the door with these large t-shirts on and bonnets that just really isn't apparent. Invest into lounge wear, ladies. And definitely maintain the importance of being a feminine woman and wearing these type of things. I enjoy wearing the long silk or satin robes and nightgowns and things and such like that. I would suggest um, investing more into stuff like that because silk and satin is more of a feminine material versus maybe cotton, you know, wearing it around the home. But whatever you feel the need to wear, I feel you can make it work. Now, when you go out on dates, I would also suggest that you give a great overlook of what you're wearing to make sure it's not over revealing and that you're not trying to send the wrong message when you're trying to appear sexy. A lot of women like to attend these dates and want to have their breasts all out, mainly on the first date, and that just sends a bad signal to men's brain. Most men will say, oh, you can wear what you want, you can look your best. But at the same time, uh, we are very smart women on this channel and we are aware men will give you a certain overlook and they will debate it, what type of woman you are based on what you wear on your first date and what you possibly want from him. I often see popular boutiques selling these dresses that are targeted to women with bbls that is just over revealing and i feel like if that's something that you want to wear it's a time and place but you never ever want to wear that on a first date or to popular events like galas and fashion shows or black tie events or weddings or anything like that you must look classy and never trashy and out of place this is why i stress to you ladies to never follow trends many when it comes to how you dress and present yourself I truly believe when you go on dates as a classy woman and you're not dressing in a way that will make a man assure that you are there for conversation and a date, he will think otherwise. And that is how some men are approaching women thinking you want one thing when that is not your intentions at all. You have to set the tone that I am a respectable woman and you will respect me. Now, ladies, I think it's perfectly fine to show things like your collarbone or even some leg, but you have to know your limits so you don't go overboard with it and showing too much to send the wrong message. I would also add when going on a date to wear your favorite perfume that is date night appropriate to add to the feeling of being sexy. In addition, having good posture and understanding the importance of sitting like a lady those are something that you definitely want to adapt to when you as a sexy woman. You never want your legs all open or to be hanging all over the table with your elbows on the table and stuff like that. That doesn't add to a, se a sexy aesthetic. Last but not least, as a feminine woman, one of the best ways that you can be sexy is to remain mysterious as much as possible and never feeling the urge to overshare. Men often find it extremely sexy when a woman really that they really like isn't overly open about everything in her life. He keeps him interested by giving him just enough for him to get by. Another way to appear sexy would be to be able to flirt and be in a flirtation um way with a man that you're confident that everything is on the surface level but you know that I'm interested in you in the dating stage again you never want to say anything that will send the wrong message but it's perfectly okay 
to show interest with a guy without leading with a Jezebel spirit that leads to nowhere that is not beneficial for you as a feminine woman. Overall, ladies, never ever believe being classy means being boring because a woman having class will never go out of style compared to talking in a masculine state like shooting your shot first or bringing up sex in a conversation, telling what you like in a bedroom or anything like that. That's just very masculine and just not lead-like and something that you should not be talking about. I feel like when you lead in those masculine states, you lead yourself in a more stressful state versus a soft life of abundance where everything flows in the right direction as a woman. Like I said, ladies, when you're in a relationship or even building a relationship, you are in control of everything around you, meaning how you respond to things and how you um, accept certain conversations in your feminine space. If you think this information is helpful, please do me a favor and share it with other women that may be classy or want to learn how to be sexy and feminine. Don't forget to drop below what is your favorite asset about yourself as a classy feminine woman in addition to what's something that you may want to work on to be sexy and classy. But that is all for today, ladies. Remain classy and beautiful. Mwah.